it is a good development but one who asks are these structures uh, uh, these structures we are talking about are they actually begging for refurbishment or is the government trying to balance religion tolerance for the christians and muslims does it really want the attention of the government looking at what is going on now in the country we are talking about food security we are talking about um, security in general infrastructure and all of that yes but focusing on these two, because after now we're going to hear that uh, a lot of money has been uh, reimbursed for this. Does it really work the, uh, what's the attention at this moment? Well, in climes where things are probably done, the government has no business investing in religious centers. In sinner climes, whoever that are the worshippers in those places, whoever that are the owners of those religious centers would have primarily take care of their religious centers. However, we all understand that Nigeria is still on the journey to what should be um, a nation. We are still on a democratic experiment. And so I'm not surprised. I watched the visit of the uh, Islamic society in Abuja. I also watched that of the visit of the um, the Christian Association of Nigeria, led by its national president to uh, Mr. Yeso Wike back in about um, about Tuesday or Wednesday, two weeks ago. And in those uh, visits, they primarily requested that uh, the both sides requested that issue. The federal government should help through the Federal Capital Territory Authority to upgrade the national mocks and then the National Economical Center. And so having we can visit those places to do attend to the needs of those uh, the leaders of the Christian faith and then the Islamic faith for me in the Nigerian setting. It's not a bad idea. However, it will be important to remind the religious leaders that when government puts its resources, scarce resources into such ventures, they should have a way of maintaining those facilities. So it does not become something that every four years government has to renovate or refurbish. It, it will be necessary to remind everybody that it, I'm a Christian. However, it does not mean that it is the government that should come and build my church for me. That people go there and worship. Those people should know how to maintain the worship center. My local church here where I work, I serve, where I worship, we do not need government to come and build it for us. So those who worship at the National Economical Center and the National Mosque should look at how to address whatever infrastructure deficit that is there. We are not supposed to be using our scarce resources as a nation. But now we used to attend to other important needs to go and be attending to building religious centers. Now looking at the uh, the kind of the kind of hardship that is going on in the country right now, does this really add up to I mean is this really necessary right now? That that's why I've said that as a nation who have myriads of challenges that we need money to take care of. Ventures such as putting money into the building of uh, an economical center or a, an Islamic uh, a mosque, a national mosque, it should not be a venture that we should have ordinarily gone into. However, I think that the government is just trying to do a PR, trying to see how they could create a, uh, a relationship with the religious organizations. And it will be difficult for us to uh, deceive ourselves by not saying that the population of Christian Muslim population in Nigeria is high. And so politicians, after one election, are already planning for the next election. And you know that Tinibu wrote to power under a lot of controversy. And one of the most significant of the controversy is the fact that he's coming on a Muslim Muslim ticket. And so if he has an opportunity to show Nigerians and those naysayers that he has religious tolerance, irrespective of the fact that he's a Muslim himself, that his wife is a Christian. And so 
um, he has tolerance to whatever religion anybody around him wants to practice. For me, it's just a PR effort. Uh, when the concern empowers him to allocate our resources to things that he deems necessary, that's what the concern says he should do. However, it has to go through some budgetary provisions, uh, supplementary, or whatever name you want to give it. But the truth is that the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has started today allows the president at his discretion to plow resources of our country into areas of need that if deems necessary. 